guys, it's me, Oniko for you to make a tutorial on retrievers. Okay, so in this tutorial we're gonna be, um, gonna be going about pretty much everything about retriever, apart from the craft recipe. Which if you want to know, you go into here, you type in whatever you want, you tap R and there you go, it comes up with everything, okay? So, retrievers are like filters, except they don't need to be the next filter. Say for example this one here, which I'm going to use to retrieve all of these pieces of wool. Um, it's going to be here. Wait, right, one second. <laughs> Sorry. Just need this one thing. Um, and it's going to pull the wool out from there into here. Except there's one big difference between a retriever and a filter. It's that it doesn't work if it doesn't have any power in it. And the way you get power is by using thermal powers, like what I've done here which uses water and love with firepower you find the difference between temperatures of of a few things for example here water and lava you can use ice and lava also and that's in using that outputs as a low amount of power I just generally make a whole stack of them and stick them up high so what you do is you make a blue alloy wire or another or one of the jacketed wire and you stick it on and it's, it starts powering up and then it starts drawing out stuff for, stuff from the other chests so as you can see, it doesn't need to be directly next to the chest. It just needs to be connected to the pipe. Okay, so um, this is just a test. I'm not exactly sure about this, but I think it might be able to pull out stuff and stick it out to the ground and t t pick it up from the ground also. So I'm just going to stick 20 stacks of wool in here. Let's see what happens. Nope, it can't. It cannot fire stuff out. How? Nope. Wait. Yeah, it can. It fires stuff out and sticks it into the next one. That's interesting. That's pretty damn epic, also. <laughs> so yeah, basically, from here, what else you can do also is color code the items. And you can make it so it extracts only a specific item. Like for example, now we're gonna be outputting only light blue wool, eight of them at a time. Oh, I've got it the wrong way around, haven't I? Just gonna depower this. It's gonna power up again. You stick this in here, and I can make it so it goes any color. But I'm not gonna do that yet. And you can power it on and. It pulls stuff out of chests and goes into the other chest, and only that type of wool, as you can see, it doesn't pull it to cyan or the lime wool. I can also make it so it has to go down the black path. Don't count me as racist, I just use that. Um, oh yeah, and also they can be powered using these Bluetricity solar panels, I forgot to tell you that. So we're using thermal powers, which is like an epic way of using it, or solar panels, which only work during the day. So if you want to make so you're using solar panels, you generally get a battery box, which I'll make a tutorial of later on. So I'll just stick a few battery boxes down. It powers these up. Well, it does this. Then for some reason, the power gets transferred over there, etc., etc. Not really important for us. So we're talking about retrievers. So I can make it so it's white, blue, and but if, it, if I change it so it goes red, it doesn't work. It doesn't pull it out because it's there. In fact, it just pow de depowers it entirely for some reason. In fact, it's because there's no red wire. There's no red um, tube. So I'm just going to stick a few tubes down for like, the exceptions. So as you can see, the red goes but down the non part the non-colored path, and everything else goes down the qu quickest path. So anyway. You just stick a redstone current into them, and then they pull out. Then they use that to uh, time the speed that they pull stuff in and out of stuff. And yeah. So remember, they need blue electricity power. That's that's full because if that's full, they need redstone power also to tick it on and off. You can f make them fire stuff. Yeah, to each other, each other, so you can have my Piper system, my quarry tutorial. If you haven't watched that, you can watch that. My if you just if you my videos, you can color stuff also. You can color stuff so it goes down the colored tube, or you can change it to a different color 
wait so it doesn't go through any of these tubes and you can make so it only takes out a specific um, item so yeah I hope you found this tutorial helpful if I forgot anything you can tell me in the description I mean in the comments not in the description this is me Nico 321 signing out hope you found this tutorial helpful peace out guys